Falcon, Starlink, LD is go for launch. And there is that call out that we are go for launch. So at T minus 30 seconds, at T minus 30 seconds, we are, all systems are go for launch. So let's listen into the terminal count and watch as Falcon 9 takes our stack of Starlink satellites into orbit. T minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition and lift off. Stage 1 chamber pressures are nominal. Vehicle is pitching downrange. At T plus 40 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying our stack of Starlink satellites to orbit. Now we are throttling down that first stage in preparation for Max Q. Max Q stands for me. And there's that call out for Max Q. This is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees. Now coming up in about a minute, we'll have three events happening within seconds of each other. And that'll be main engine cutoff, or MECO, stage separation, and SES-1, or second engine start one. Now, MECO is where all nine of the M1D engines shut down, and that slows the vehicle down in preparation. Vehicle is following a nominal trajectory. That slows the vehicle down in preparation for the second event, stage separation. MVAC engine chill has begun. And stage separation is where the first stage separates from the second stage. Uh, first stage will make its way back to Earth while second stage continues on its journey with SES-1, or second engine start one. And that's where we light up the MVAC engine and it will propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit. We're just under 30 seconds away from those three events. Again, that is Miko, stage separation, and SES-1. We've got a really cool view of the first stage and those nine Merlin-1D engines burning bright. Stage separation confirmed. And there you saw Miko in stage separation on your left hand screen is the first stage with the right hand screen being the second stage. And you can see SES-1, that MVAC engine is now glowing bright red there. And in a few seconds from now, we should have fairing deploy. Separation confirmed. And there you can see on your right hand screen, the fairing has deployed. As a reminder, we will be attempting to recover the fairing half today with our recovery ships, Miss Tree and Miss Chief. Now, as stage two heads towards its targeted drop-off orbit, stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back to Earth. The first burn is the entry burn, and that's where three of the nine Merlin-1D engines will reignite, and that'll help slow the vehicle down as it re-enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. And the second burn for the first stage, second and final burn, is the landing burn, and this is where a single engine will reignite, and that slows the vehicle down rapidly in order to touch down on that drone ship. 
Again, we are attempting to land on Of Course I Still Love You, and this will be the sixth attempt for this booster. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Now on your screen is a live view of that second stage. This is the Merlin vacuum engine. This engine has about 220,000 500 pounds of thrust in a vacuum. We're just under a minute and a half away from the entry burn on the first stage. Again, the first stage will perform two burns. It will be the entry burn and the landing burn. And then just 20 seconds or so after that landing burn has concluded, the second stage will have SECO-1 or second engine cutoff one. Stage two is still on a, a nominal trajectory. This is carrying our Starlink satellites to their targeted orbit. And we are just about 30 seconds away, or under 30 seconds away from that entry burn starting up on the first stage. And the entry burn will last about 20 seconds long. And again, it will be three of the nine engines reigniting. Stage one, FTS is saved. Stage one, engine burn start. And there you can see on your left hand screen as that view lights up, those three engines are burning bright, helping to slow the vehicle down as it enters back into the Earth's atmosphere. Stage one entry bar and shut down. We did have a call out for entry burn conclusion. Stage two is still looking nominal. Just under 30 seconds away from the landing burn beginning on the first stage. And we are attempting to land on, of course, I still love you for the sixth time for this booster. Got a live view from the drone ship on your left hand side. We did get a little bright glow, but no longer see a, a flame there. Right-hand screen, stage two is still looking nominal. Stage two, FTS is saved. And it does look like we did not land our booster on. Of course, I still love you tonight. It is unfortunate that we did not recover this booster, but our second stage is still on a nominal trajectory. And there's that call out for SECO, as I mentioned earlier, that is second engine cutoff one. Again, we are doing two burns for this MVAC engine. Nominal insertion orbit. And there's that. Signal, 
There's that call out for a good orbit. So now stage two is going to coast in this orbit for the next 35 minutes or so. So we'll see you back here at T plus 45 minutes for a second stage relay. In the recognition. And there you could see when we had a live view, that very, very short burn. It did not look like much, but just that one second burn is, insertion. that one second burn is all we need. And we got good confirmation of good orbit. So we do have another 18 minute coast phase before we deploy our next batch of Starlink satellites into orbit. During this time, the spacecraft will start to spin along its central axis, giving the Starlink satellites the momentum that they need to space themselves out over time after they deploy. While this happens, sit back and enjoy the space jams. We'll see you back here at T plus one hour and four minutes. Welcome back to our Starlink mission. We did have an on-time liftoff tonight at 10.59 p.m. Eastern time and a successful sixth flight of this first stage booster. We were not able to land the first stage, which is a bummer, but our second stage did have two successful burns of the MVAC engine and is now getting ready to deploy our Starlink satellites in a few seconds. And you can see a live view on your screen of the Starlink satellites in space with Earth in the background. Now the second stage did start to spin along its central axis to give the Starlink satellites the momentum they need to space themselves Starlink out. Starlink deploy confirmed. And what you're looking at on your screen are these Starlink satellites drifting away from second stage. This is confirming deployment of our payload. Shortly, they will deploy their solar array and over the next few days and weeks, they will distance themselves from each other and use their onboard ion thrusters to make their way to their operational orbit. And that brings our webcast to a close. Thank you to the range and the FAA for supporting today's mission. And thanks to all of our viewers and every one of you that has signed up or placed an order for service. Thanks for joining us and have a great night.